Recently, U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command conducted the Unified Quest 2011 Combined Arms Maneuver and Wide Area Security War Game to determine Army and Joint Capability requirements for a future conflict. The Army produces trained and ready soldiers for the combatant commanders who are skilled in core competencies of Combined Arms Maneuver and Wide Area Security in support of tactical operations and full spectrum ops. So, it goes back to what, how General Dempsey described the concept as, uh, of uh, white air security and, and combined arms maneuver as responsibilities. So these are things that all soldiers must be able to do simultaneously required, and not just focusing on white air security or, or just on CAM, we have to be able to do both. Also known as CAM and WAS, the war game will help determine future ongoing revisions to U.S. Army Field Manual 3-0 operations. Well, combined arms maneuver and wide area security viewed as, as, as operations as part of the Army's operating concept uh, would be executed using various combinations of simultaneous offense, defense, stability, and civil support tasks as outlined in FM 3.0. And as we're working to try to move these concepts towards doctrine, we're, we're trying to determine better the ways that uh, those tasks will align to those respective broader op, uh, activities. The Cam and Waz War Game studied possible gaps in doctrine, organization, training, material, leadership, personnel, and facilities in light of uncertainty from the emerging trend of hybrid threats. Combined arms maneuver and wide area security are the next step in the lexicon for uh, doctrinal discussion. Uh, what, what we do now operationally is vastly different from what we thought we were doing 10 years ago. Uh, the terms still apply. We're still speaking the same language, but we've bent the meaning of those terms to the point that they're about to break, and we need a new way to describe what we're doing. The war game included input from the Army's sister services to encompass the joint environment. The Marine Corps uh, operates on a combined arms basis. So as we look at what the Army's doing here with both wide area security and with combined arms maneuver, and how they're viewing them. Uh, I've, I've heard the term used as responsibilities that would uh, occur on the modern battlefield. We view it in, uh, in, much the same, in much the same way, but everything is on a combined arms approach for us, obviously due to size and, uh, and to help us with, with speed and versatility. The Cam and Waz war game also included input from Tradox International Fellows. The Australian Army views uh, combined arms maneuver um, and wide area security uh, in similar terms uh, to the US Army. Uh, we call them something different, uh, of course, um, but uh, what we call combined arms maneuver, uh, we call joint land combat. Um, joint land combat has a very similar theme to the combined arms maneuver, and I understand that the two, uh, the, the, the terms are being developed. Um, and what we call wide area security, um, actually covers off on a number of other lines of operation that we have. Um, the Australian Army has five lines of operation um, that, that include uh, joint land combat, as I said before, um, uh, security ops, um, stabilisation ops, uh, well, support to the whole of government stabilisation effort, um, support to Indigenous capacity building uh, and regional engagement. So if you look at a taxonomy of how those things work together, uh, joint land combat equates to combined arms maneuver uh, and those other four lines of operation that I've just mentioned actually equate to wide area security. The Cam and Waz war game identified how the Army could balance and overlap the two activities in various situations. Well, we've issued the Army capstone concept and Army operating concept and this particular exercise is looking at those two concepts from the at the levels of division and core to see how they apply and what we need to change in, in, in our concept to make it uh, applicable at that level. Well, one of the challenges for all of the panel members coming in uh, to this discussion was first defining what those, uh, those operations were and how they differed from what we currently do. Um, and then in reviewing some of General Dempsey's um, papers and some video discussion that he put out, um, it really looked at combined arms maneuver and wide area security as basically the he lists them as two responsibilities uh, for the force. Um, we put them into context of full spectrum operations and bounding it. Um, so 
combined arms maneuver kind of being more towards your conventional uh, high intensity conflict encompassing a little bit of the spectrum in there and wide area security uh, being the lower end of the spectrum uh, from no conflict up through uh, insurgency or regular warfare. The Kem and Waz war game was part of the Army's campaign of learning and one of many sessions under the broader umbrella of Unified Quest. Looking at current doctrine cumulatively, everything we do in wide area security and combined arms maneuver is included. Uh, we're not introdu introducing any new concepts in terms of how the operational force is doing business. Uh, what we're looking at is a new way of framing and encapsulating uh, those functions holistically. This event is the fifth in the Unified Quest Campaign of Learning for 2011. We titled this event Combined Arms Maneuver and Wide Area Security, and we're doing it in a war game setting. The purpose of this week's event is to define doctrinally combined arms maneuver and wide area security. We're looking at that through the core and division lens. Unified Quest will also examine and develop interim solution strategies for enduring operational and generating force Army warfighting challenges. Lessons learned will be incorporated into future revisions of Field Manual 3-0 Operations. Public Affairs Office, Headquarters, U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command.